Yes, guys, welcome from me, Show Show Manager 0102. It's been a while since I've done videos uh, for one reason or another. So, firstly, apologies that it's taken me so long to get to another video, and more importantly, apologies to Mike Evangelou, whose uh, video I'm going to do right now. Mike Evangelou, this is part two of his uh, preview save. Now, to be fair, uh, I had to sort of uh, remind myself what was in part one, it was so long ago. And, um, and 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 I, I went onto it and I thought, shit, I remember Mike Evangelou. That's the guy that did all the regens, uh, and he had Jamie Victory as a regen. And I was questioning why Jamie Victory, why certain players. But he openly said, you know, he uses a GPF program to try and identify it. Now I can't for the life of me remember where we were at with Mike Evangelou. So what we'll do is we'll start from the beginning. But this is part two of uh, Mike Evangelou's um, save. Uh, let's take a look firstly at his jobs then. So he started out at Milan, went to Chelsea a few years later, PSV, England, Rangers, resigned England, Manchester United, that's where he was, weren't it? Man United, I'm sure it was. I'm pretty sure that's where he was, Manchester United. So Schalke, France, interesting, Real Madrid. So Real Madrid, he's been there, what, just over a season? And he had... So he's still got a shit. I mean, look, everyone's a regen. Absolutely everyone. And I mean, there's an odd, obviously an odd one that you probably don't know who the regen is of. Okay, so what are we in now then? Uh, what are we, season 17, season 17, 18, whatever it is. Um, so let's have a look now then at... Um, well, he did win the title last season then with uh, Real Madrid. Finished runners-up. Okay, so his formation... Hmm, I can't remember what I said. Attack, attack into the scrotums, I like that. I quite like that formation, to be honest with you. Um, the only downside of that formation is I think it, you don't score as many goals. You don't create as many chances. And Thierry Henry is almost isolated up top. But, you know what, I am intrigued. So, uh, that's, uh, where, so there we are, so new season. Yeah, looking good, looking very, very good. So look at some of these players there, Nick David. So, I mean, is that the regen of a regen? Don't know if it is actually, probably isn't. But um, some of these regens are going to be absolutely insane, aren't they? They really are. Oliver Kahn, yeah, I don't think they are regens of regens. Robert Perez, Totti. Now, an interesting one about Totti here, right, is because I looked at Totti on my game on game of Matt, and his injury prone is a fucking nightmare. And you can see his injury prone on this regen is only five, so. Uh, good work there. So it looks like he got him last season. In fact, let's have a look at so this season. Effenberg. Has he got any any players coming? Oh, oh really, <laughs> mate? Segalco. Oh, it's a region we're talking about. Segalco region. What we're talking. Sorry, I was just about to say what the fuck, but then I realised it's region Segalco. Um. Okay, so you've got Segalco region. I'll tell you what I find very interesting, right? So the Segalco regen came up in 2014-15. So that is 13 years after the game starts. Now the proper pre-gen Segalco would still only be, what, 30, 31, 30, 31 years of age? Which is fucking young to retire. I mean, I think 32 is young to retire. Incidentally, there's a patch that stops players retiring until they're 34 on the update, which I like. Um... So an interesting one on Segalco. So Mike, explain yourselves on that Segalco deal there. Uh, last season, look at all these. Look at them all. Uh, I think he's pretty much like regen everybody. Yeah, he obviously bought these guys, didn't he? Desai, Jimenez, Montero, Rossini. That's the guy that was he must have bought but didn't rename. Yeah, they're all at Chiotis. Okay. Okay, very, very interesting indeed, Mike. Uh, I do like that formation a lot. Um, and I know we had this conversation, Mike, about um, using third-party programs to identify regens. Uh, and it, it is each to their own. I'm not a fan of it personally. But you know what? You know I'm always going to be honest. Um, you also know I'm not a fan of Wibbob. Now, fortunately... You're not using Wibwob. But I do like that formation. I, I, I genuinely do. 
Uh, I'm intri Let's just have a look at something. Is that what you played last season? Let's just go to... So you won the cup last season against uh, Barcelona. Great news. Oh, I see. It wasn't always the case then. Okay, that's an interesting um, formation. Oh, mate, you were fucking hammered. I bet you didn't stay on that for long. You lucky bastard in the cup final. Look at that. Oh, that is fucking disgusting. Uh, let's just have a look at that, Betis. See, I, I quite like that. I'm not. I mean, how, how, how's that flared up? Not, not many. Mike, quick question for you now, then. Um, having gone, you're almost sort of same, same sort of area as where I'm at on my game on challenge. Are you finding that goals are drying up, and most of the AI are using um, any sort of specific tactics? Just out of interest. Ian Hart's a great player. Galada, look at that. Galada looks a fucking beast. Uh, let me just go to a random Oviado then. Yeah, so it looks like you've predominantly gone then at 4 2 1 2 1, which is quite interesting. It is very interesting indeed. Although, I mean, look, you conceded a few goals there, didn't you? You got hammered at Rangers. That's embarrassing. To be beaten by Rangers is disgusting. Henrik Lars. Oh, you were Rangers, weren't you? Yeah, of course. What am I talking about? You were Rangers. Okay, so a quick gander then at. Um, so, Schalk then. You were at Schalk then from, um, so, 12 to 14. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, look at, uh, no, not really. No, you had, uh, you had a horrid time at Schalk, didn't you? The way I read that is, that, that was awful. What the fuck happened over here in 2013-14? Awful time over uh, over in Germany. Am I reading that right? Awful time in Germany. Uh, let's have a look at your time at Manchester United then. Man United, that you were there from uh, so to the end of the 12th season. I got that wrong about Schalke, didn't I? I'm so sorry. I got that totally wrong again about Schalke. You obviously did win the title. That was after. That was before you arrived, weren't it? So it's Man United from the end of the 11 from the end of the 11 10 11 season. Okay. Finished twelfth, end of the ten eleven. Yeah, okay. I mean, you steadied the. I mean, yeah. Look at that, Man United, absolutely superb. Abs I don't think there's any easier way to. Um, is there an easier way to do this? Because I, I, I wanted to try and, in fact, let's just do that. Ma Leagues one twelve, thirty six cups one. Yeah, look at that. You look good. You look really, really good. Uh, all records, so oh, fuck all that. Competitions, awards, yeah, we don't want to see all that shit. Transfers, yeah, whatever. So, another impressive um, setup uh, from you, Mike Evangeli. Um, you really, well, what's your plan now? It's got to be, I'm guessing, it's got to be to win the title with Real Madrid. Um, I would imagine. Let's just go back to, uh, I wanted to see your figures. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Um, so you've obviously done it with uh, Scout, Man United, Rangers, I'm sure you did it. Let's have a look at Rangers. So you there, Rangers. From you only at Rangers then for one season. Am I reading that right? 09 to the 010. And you won the title. I should bloody hope so as well. Look at that. What a fucking Don't tell me that Scotland enter Farmers League. Nah, nah, I'm only joking. It, although it's great to see Motherwell win the title there. I mean, that's um, a little bit bizarre. Um, and I'm sure, yeah, and I remember you, you'd already done really well at the other clubs, hadn't you? Um, I think your regen work it, it, it is brilliant. I, whilst I don't agree with playing it during a save, I think from a reference perspective, I think it's really good. Um, and I think, you know, all credit to you there. Uh, Mike, with that, uh, what's your money like at Real Madrid? 90,000. So, yeah, all good. Let me just check something. Just something I want to check compared to my own game on game. Yeah, you see, so something similar then. Look at their stadium, 131,000. It's reached 150 odd thousand in my own game. Um, bizarre. So, Mike, share with us then what your plan of action is going to be. Um, I'm guessing you're going to be staying for Real Madrid. Um, and I suppose if we uh, if we just do, you're going to continue to do the regen work. I mean, look at that, 24 pages. 
fuck me, yeah, you do spend some work, some time doing it, don't you? That is absolutely fucking insane. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 16. There's 23 pages multiplied by 16 players and then an additional uh, 9 here. That is a ridiculous amount. Some of them... I, I said this before and I, I, and I will just reiterate it. I don't see the point of players like Chris Armstrong, uh, Mike Durf, that sort of stuff. But I, I understand why you've done it. Uh, from, from a, from a, a save perspective, I totally get that. Uh, let's have a quick gander if there is anybody still going. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you're including yourself. Yeah, yeah, I can't get that. Is there anybody still going? There probably isn't. Mendieta. Oh, in fact, the best way to do this would be to do... Walter Samuel. Walter Samuel is still... What is he? Is he unemployed? He's unemployed. Shit in hell. Paul Robinson. Do you know, this is what I like. I like to see players like this, yeah. Gareth Barry, Mike Ashley Cole. That, uh, this is what I like to see. I also like to see how far they do with managerial, those that stay in the game, of course. Uh, Jürgen Col Colin, I think. Is he, the, is he the Ajax player? Ah, I meant PSV, obviously. Uh, Chris Kirkland. Who's our youngest player that we might recognise? Jai JT still going. Shit, oh, he's a manager. Is he a player manager? No, he's just a manager of Middlesbrough. Joe Cole. Joe Cole, what is he? Oh, Joe Cole's a manager of Halifax. Bloody hell. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, anybody else of interest? Ed Nielsen. Yeah, I know Ed Nielsen. Reece Sevens. There can't be anybody more. There can't be any, any more. Sure, Jolene Lescott. Surely there's nobody at 35 years of age. Is that the Yakubi? Yeah, the Yakubi. Ray Frovers, I love it. I love it. Ray Frovers. I think that's brilliant to see. Uh, I don't think I recognise anybody 35 years of age. Oh, no, no. Brozek. Brozek's still going strong. Certainly bilingual, isn't he? Uh, anybody else of interest? Oh, Pavia. Yeah, he's still going. He's still going. Lee Fowler, fucking hell. It's not the Lee Fowler that I was thinking, but never mind. Um, oh, Mido, Mido's still going. Mido, the great Mido, the Egyptian, wanted by Real Madrid. How do you like that? Um, so that's it then, guys. That is it for Mike Evangelou's second part, his update on his uh, CM game. It's great work, great work, Mike. Uh, and if you want any videos analysing, uh, give us a shout. But bear with me, because it could take me a fucking age to get back to you. Um, and until next time from me, guys, take it easy.